Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our preview of the 2015 Hyundai Sun Bowl between the Miami Hurricanes and the Washington State Cougars. And let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Hurricanes. Starting with the Hurricanes in this ball game, they have to own both the pace and the tempo in this matchup versus Washington State. You know the Cougars want to push the tempo. They want to play fast pace. They want to spread the field. If Miami is able to own the pace and the tempo, they can win this game. And I think you have to match power with speed. One thing I love about the Hurricanes is their ability to line up in double tight end sets, maybe sometimes three tight ends, and run the football downhill east-west. I think they can do that versus this Cougars defense that's giving up five yards a carry. And defensively, it's about playing the run on the way to the quarterback. Until Washington State shows they can run with some semblance of balance, you can get extra aggressive in getting back there on a the quarterback. Moving over to Washington State in this ball game, I think they have to be able to get off the field defensively. They can't allow Miami to chew up the T.O.P. with their ground game. If they're able to get off the field, it puts the ball right back in the hand of Luke Folk and an explosive Cougar offense. And they also have to protect Folk back there in the pocket. I think that's one thing that has been understated all season long about this Cougars offensive attack, their offensive line has been iffy at best. 39 sacks given up on the season won't cut it versus Miami in their tremendous front four. And I think also offensively they have to work touchdown to check down. There are some opportunities deep down the field. I like the matchup with their receivers versus the corners and safeties of Miami work touchdown to check down. I think they can have a lot of success throwing a football in this game. I like Miami in this ball game. I believe the biggest key will be to do what you're seeing right there in the video. Hand the football off to Joe Yearby in that outstanding Hurricanes ground game. I think what you'll see is them be able to shrink this ball game, take the air out of the football, and eventually slow down that Cougars offensive attack because of their own offense. So I like the Miami Hurricanes to win the 2015 Sun Bowl. And looking at Washington State, any team that's coached by Mike Leach, you have to have the quarterback and the receivers as the X factor. So looking at what you have with Miami, uh, their defense, I, I think that they can have the ball thrown on them. Luke Falk is a quarterback that's over 4,000 yards passing, 36 touchdowns, 8 INTs. He's clearly very efficient, effective with the football. And that's what you want in Mike Leach's uh, spread type of offense. And you look at what you have with, at the receivers, you have two receivers darn near a thousand yard guys. You got one in, in uh, Gabe Marks who's in a thousand yard receiver. He has 14 touchdowns. He's their possession guy, 99 catches. Then you have the other one, Don Williams, who has 11 touchdowns. He's the guy that they use to stretch the field. So looking at, at what you have with the quarterback and receiver tandem, Luke Falk, Gabe Marks, and Don Williams, those are going to be your X factors for Washington State. On the other side of things, for the U, my X Factor is going to be a guy that had came in as a freshman and played quarterback Brad Kaya. He had a pretty good season this past year, and his favorite target has been Rayshon Scott, who is a guy who really likes to play the perimeter. So those are going to be the X Factor for, for them. Scott can use his basketball background to box out the corner and make the catches in the red zone. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I have Washington State winning this game 45-36 over Miami. The Sun Bowl is one of the oldest bowl games out of the 40 that exist today. A traditional powerhouse in Miami is facing off against an upstart from the Pac-12 in Washington State. Now for Miami, who's filled with talent, we want to look at the guys on the flanks, Herb Waters, wide receiver, and also Rashawn Scott. Now for the offense on Washington State, we know that they want to spread the ball around and get the ball down the field. Big time receiver Gabe Marks uh, should be a guy to look out for, as well as Don Williams, another wide receiver. And Joe Dahl up front is one of the senior stalwarts on the offensive line. Now on the defensive side of the ball, a lot of talent in this game, especially for Miami. Deion Bush, free safety out of Miami, should get some looks. 
Tracy Howard, quarterback, sticking in that secondary, should get some looks as well. And Tariq McCord, uh, an outside linebacker from Miami, should get some pub as well. Watch out for him. On the defensive side for Washington State, let's look out for Daryl Apollo, a uh, defensive end uh, from Washington State, and Jeremiah Allison, an outside linebacker, as well as Destiny Viejo, a uh, defensive tackle out of Washington State. I expect this one to be a fun matchup. I think Miami will have a little bit too much for them at the end of the game, but it stays close. Miami 28-26.